You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Hey everybody, this is Inconceivable Mondays, the day that we talk about a word that Maybe sometimes we're not understanding or using it the way we should use it. We have so many different words in our theological library. So many words we hear on Sunday mornings, in Bible studies, in videos. We read it in books. What do these words mean? So we can actually understand them. It helps us better. So the first word we're going to start today with is redemption. 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 What does this word mean? You go by churches, they're called our Redeemer. So to understand what redemption is, we're going to kind of walk through it a couple ways. First, who is the Redeemer? Who is being redeemed? And from what are we being redeemed? Those three things. So first, who is the Redeemer? Well, Redeemer is one who rescues, one who saves, one who saves the day and basically overcomes the bad guys, the things that are enslaving us. And who is that redeemer? The rescuer is Jesus himself, Jesus the Christ. Who's being rescued? Who's being redeemed? It's, it's us. It's we sinners. We who struggle all the time with sin. We who want to be better but can't be better. We who are tempted by the things of the world. We who are, as St. David said, conceived in sin in Psalm 51. We're the ones being redeemed, rescued, saved from what? Well, the four things. Sometimes it's three. I like having four. Sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. Jesus redeems us, rescues us from sin. How? In the forgiveness of our sins. How does he rescue us from death? By dying in our stead, therefore destroying death and rising again on the third day. The world, remember as he said in John, take heart, I have overcome the world. He overcomes the world as if it's the only place we're going to live in, instead of the reality that there is a new heavens and a new earth. And then the devil, remember Genesis 3, 15, Jesus crushes the head of the serpent, overcomes him, strips him of all his power to annoy us, to condemn us, to burden us. This is what Jesus does, and how does he do it? That's the second way we understand redemption. Redemption is not just rescuing, but how does that rescuing happen is with the purchase of something. Jesus purchases us. He won us on the cross. They're assuming all of our sin. They're taking every accusation of the devil. They're taking every rejection of the world. They're taking death, staring it in the face and saying, you are no more. Redemption. It means we are rescued by the blood of Jesus. Rescued from the tyrants that try to enslave us. So take heart when you hear that word, redemption or redeemer or being redeemed. It is the reality that you, a lost and condemned person, are purchased and won from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil by your redeemer, Jesus the Christ. God bless you all. And we'll see you next time on Inconceivable Mondays. Fun times.